other images and different different material. Hi everyone, we're uh, just giving some some time for people to hop on live in the Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. So uh, just give us a few seconds. If you're watching this later, after it's gone live, skip the first minute or two mm -hmm. and uh, you'll get right into where we start. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Father. <clears throat> yeah. Hey guys, uh, it's Pastor Kuta here. I'm here with Pastor Carlo having yeah. uh, an awesome time in the Lord. And uh, today is just, uh, we're just going to be sharing about. Um, love is power and the, and uh, i believe that god is going to be speaking to you and uh, uh, this is not just for us but we just felt the need and the edge so the, uh, to share the message uh, to you and we know that it's going to change your life and i would thank god for what he's doing and what is going to release this morning in jesus name let me just pray for you guys yeah and uh father i thank you for your love for your love and mercy father it brings us to repentance we thank you for your love father god that comforts us the love father in the name of jesus we thank you for you are love god father we thank you father god in jesus for your mercy for the kindness for your comfort for your blessings we thank you for the grace that came through love we thank you heavenly father for you are powerful for your love is power we thank you father in the name of jesus we thank you father god even for our audience oh father god father that you touch their hearts even as we share this message father that you transform their lives oh father through love oh father god in the name of jesus we thank you father we pray father for every man every woman every girl every boy yes. that is watching in Jesus name we thank you yeah. Father God for what you are about to do in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ we thank you yeah. Heavenly Father as you say Amen Amen Amen. Wow awesome hey, thank you guys for uh, just hopping on and um, yeah he introduced himself but this is my brother Kutsai and uh, he's an amazing pastor there from uh, Johannesburg now and uh, he's doing some good stuff there doing the miracle signs wonders uh, walking in the glory that's how i see him and um it's a just an honor for me to just hop on here with you guys uh we, we just thought we we just talk about god's love and uh kind of just wing it a little bit this morning we're not preaching a specific sermon mm -hmm. but we just wanted to let our what god put in our hearts mm -hmm. about his love just flow amen all right so uh yeah, and uh, if any of you have any prayer requests, uh, throw it on there for us. Uh, we Just at the end of this, we, we'd like to just pray for you. Mm. I think it will be good on the Sunday morning. Mm. So if you're uh, sitting at home where you're nice and warm, um, then um, yeah, we, we'd like to have church with you because uh -huh. that's who we are, right? Mm. It's not a building, it's who we are. It's who we are. So um, yeah, I'd maybe kick us off just with a scripture that I thought uh, to read mm. it's here in the book of John let me see quick where is it like I said we're winging it mm. all right so um, Jesus prays in John 17 mm. and he says here um, in verse 25 O oh, righteous Father, the world has not known you, mm -hmm. but I have known you, mm -hmm. and these have known you, and have set, and you have sent me, and I have declared to them your name, and I will declare it, mm -hmm. that the love which with that the love with which you love me mm -hmm. may be in them, mm -hmm. and I in them. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is Jesus's prayer. Now I believe when Jesus prays something, then it's it's happening. Mm. Right, he doesn't pray and hope it happens. Yeah, he prays and he knows, mm. and it will come to pass. Right, mm. so this is it. And uh, so many times, I've uh, I don't know, through my Christian life, I've had a struggle when people talk about love. You know, mm. there's always this thing in your heart that, that felt like uh, I don't know if I could do that. Yeah. You know, it's hard, mm. people don't behave well. 
<laughs> always and that's hard to love them why you know um, and um, until one day God just touched my heart but the thing was it's, it's not just a uh, encounter or a, a laying on of hands or some form of importation mm -hmm. it's for, well it, it was an importation from God himself mm -hmm. where he revealed his love for me mm -hmm. and see that's what changes things is when you realize what his love looks like mm -hmm. and uh, just some uh, kind of the uh, uh, I want to kind of reveal the, the, the big thing I want to share today right from the start mm -hmm. so that we don't keep it to the end, okay? Mm -hmm. But one thing that God shook my life with was the fact that He said, I lay my life down mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. But then see, and we all recognize that as a great uh, act of love because He laid His life down. Yes. So... If he did that, we, we recognize it easily as, wow, he loved us. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is for us to reenact that sort of love is mm -hmm. very hard. Mm -hmm. Because, see, we're already doing life and we're trying so many things, mm -hmm. keeping up with mm -hmm. culture, uh, society, yeah. work, yeah. everything that's expected of us. And then, True. you know, people tell you, no, you must love. And yeah. it's like, oh, this is too much. You know, that's how people feel. Yeah. But if you don't know God's love, it feels hard. Yes. So here's the thing. As Jesus comes and he says, I laid my life down mm -hmm. on my own accord. Mm -hmm. And he says, I have the right mm -hmm. to take it back up again. Wow. Wow. And other translation says, I have the power to take it back up again. Right? Wow. So if he says that, see, then love comes from a place of power. It comes from a place of authority. Mm -hmm. So it's not the place of weakness. Mm -hmm. It's the place of strength. Strength, yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is where real love comes from. Mm -hmm. See, he's not just laying his life down to suffer mm -hmm. and to, to, to get a whole bunch of punishment laid on him. Mm -hmm. That's the one part. Mm -hmm. But it, he does it because he has the power to take it. Mm -hmm. and handle it mm -hmm. and say I have the power to wipe this out and then I will show you how to get back up again wow 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 see now the idea of love is is not just to to suffer it's mm -hmm. to empower wow because see if I love you I will raise you up wow. I will encourage you wow. I'll build you up that is how love works but if I cannot be encouraged yeah. if I cannot be loved wow. how will I give it to you mm -hmm. so here's the thing um, it's, it's, it's so interesting that um, in the old covenant mm -hmm. I shared this the other night but mm -hmm. it's just good to mention it okay. it says uh, the commandment says love your neighbor as wow. you love yourself mm -hmm. but see in, in the, the book of uh, 1 John 3 and 4 he talks about uh, also commandments mm -hmm. and he says listen first commandment believe in Jesus wow. second commandment believe no not believe love your neighbor uh -huh. but he doesn't say love them as you love yourself mm -hmm. he says love them mm -hmm. and then he says he explains and he says they don't love uh, they don't love God mm -hmm. on their own they only love him because God loved them first. Mm -hmm. So his love, once again, it was more of an enablement, mm -hmm. an empowerment. Yeah. True. If you could see it like that, a strengthening to be able to give that love back. True. Because the love we have in ourselves is not sufficient. Wow. It isn't because it's in the flesh. And that love only operates by how we feel, how we see things, mm -hmm. and how things are going. Wow. And that varies all the time. That's why it says, you know, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Because yeah, it was yourself. the safest thing mm -hmm. to say. Because at least you would want to keep yourself alive. Yeah. Uh, maybe, let, let me just uh, jump, okay. jump in there. Yeah. Um, the, uh, what you're saying is actually true. Because... Um, 
um, love. It was, as I was growing up as a young boy, I was someone. I, I think in my family, I'm the most. I'm I'm, I'm the most mischievous, maybe. And nice. I used to do a, all kinds of sort of auto sort of things. Mm -hmm. But uh, the problem with that was uh, not the problem. Um, as I was growing up, I grew up in my uncle's house. My father, my parents passed away at an early stage. So I got into real bad stuff. I was so mischievous. I would steal some stuff and, you know, from my uncle's places and things like that. Wow. So as, as a young boy and growing up and being mischievous like that, oh. um, the people around me you used to point to the problem. Mm -hmm. Oh no! You doing this? You doing this? You doing this? And yeah, that that's right. Yeah, rebuking is right. But 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 love sometimes. The Bible says that love over looks sin. You know, oversees mm -hmm. sins. Oh, yes. So so love. What love is? Love is mature. Love mm -hmm. does not point to the problem, but love points to the solution. Yes. This is the way that we are supposed to go. That's how. Like uh, yesterday, we were having that discussion. How did they, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, miss Jesus expressed, uh, the very image of God expressed here on earth? It's because they were, they, were looking for Je they were looking at Jesus, but they wanted him to point to the problem, while he was love that was pointing to the solution. Mm. So, 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 the, so love is who we are and how we solve uh, other people's problem, how we help them out of the situation, how we portray ourselves, how we walk, how we talk, how we speak. Mm. We don't speak to offend, but we speak to, 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 to bring back people, to make people repent, to come back to, to the will of God, to, the, to, to their purpose of life, to understand what God wants them to do in, the, in their lives. And so, so, so the way I see love, love is for, for someone to, for us to see someone really has love, we have to see them as people that bring solutions. Wow. You know, like you, you're saying, you, if you have love, you, love picks someone up, it picks someone up from where they are and brings them to, to the place of opulence, to the place of power. So love is powerful. And uh, looking at the Bible, what the Bible says um, in, in, in the Synoptic Gospels, it says that well, when Jesus was nailed on the cross, uh, the men that were around them, the, the generals, the soldiers that were there that nailed them on the cross, they laughed at him, some spat on him. And for, for them, they were seeing weakness that was nailed on the cross. He was weak. If the, the Bible says that uh, the other one said, if God is really your father, uh, then uh, tell him to make you, tell him so that he can redeem you out from the cross. Mm. So, so for them it was a weakness, but they did not, they did not understand that it, it was love that was powerful. Love displayed at its best on the cross. Mm. If, if I was me looking at Mary, looking, being Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Jesus, looking at my son being nailed on the cross for the sin of the world, I think Mary, Mary was just like, wow, Father, this is the best, this is par the power of love expressed in human form. Yeah. So, so, so love sometimes to those who are immature, it's, 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 it's a weakness. It looks like a weakness. But to them that are mature, love is powerful. Love is power. Love sacrifices. Love gives its best. That's why Jesus came. God gave his best. Love, it's love being expressed. God gave his best. His only, the Bible says he gave his only begotten son. It takes maturity for someone to give your only, your real, real, real best. Pastor, you have two kids, right? Mm. Uh, can, can you give your two kids so yeah. that they can save uh, South Africa or, or the world? Mm. You, it, it's impossible. It takes someone who is mature yeah. to do that. So it's love. It's, it's, it's love. Jesus was love expressed in, mm. in the human form, the power of God. Yeah. Uh, expressed in the human form it's mm. it's it's something it's unexplainable yes 
it's undescribable. The, the, this God, sometimes when you think about the goodness and His love, sometimes mm. it's it's just it's just too much to explain. Yeah, it's just too much to explain. But um, I, I believe that in this season, God is raising people that will see His love as power, not His love as weakness. Yeah, that's why we preach it. That's why we are teaching it because we want people to know. That Jesus on the cross is not what the world is saying, that it's weakness. It was yeah. power. Yeah. It was the cross equals love. The cross equals power, the God's power. Mm. The cross gave us access to everything. The cross gave us access to God's heart. The cross gave us access to revelation of who God is. Before the cross, we wouldn't know what God wanted to do with our life. Mm. So so, so it's. I think it's the... It's, it takes maturity, like I'm saying. It takes maturity, someone who's really yeah. mature, to understand um, the difference or, or the gulf between um, immaturity, weakness, and and power in love, of love. Yeah. Well, maybe that's all I wanted to say. And 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 also, like you said, the first for your first statement that uh, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God is is no church attendance it's not mm -hmm. sunday church the kingdom of god is a behavior yeah the kingdom of god is who we are yes. the kingdom of god is the nature and the character of god mm -hmm. that's why the bible yes. says in matthew 6 33 it says uh, but seek ye the kingdom of god first mm -hmm. and his righteousness mm -hmm. and all these things shall be added unto you romans says that uh, the, but the kingdom of god is not peace and is not is not meat and drink but is a peace and joy in the holy spirit so that gives us the definition that the kingdom of god is the nature and the character of god mm -hmm. it's who we are it's who we are when no one else is looking is how we love I, i've seen you pastor we have gone together in the streets there you know i've seen you give people food i've seen you display the love that's what god wants us to do yeah. when no one else is looking when no one else knows who you are when you are in a taxi when you are at your workplace you are you have to display the love of god no matter uh, no matter where you are no matter what situation you are in mm. you still have to yeah. display the love of god Amen. Show the love of God. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Is you know, it's um, just on exactly what you're saying, and I was sharing it uh, Friday night um, that you know, like Hebrews, uh, what's it? Hebrews one, from verse one, it says that you know, as God spoke to us in early de earlier days through His prophets, mm. but in these last days He's spoken to us by His Son. Mm. Right, and then and it con gets confirmed in the Gospels mm. where God the Father speaks mm. to the disciples mm. because they wanted to do a bunch of stuff and build a house there for this one and that one on the mountain, and, and suddenly God just speaks and says, "Hey, this is my son. Mm. Hear him." Mm. So God Himself says, "Listen to Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's the one you need to listen to right now." Mm. So and then Hebrews says that he so. Christ being the express image mm. of God. Mm. So this is the thing is uh, God is, keeps encouraging us to to look at Jesus mm. and say this is the example mm. of not just who I am but of my will mm. and of my words mm. as you can see him and you can follow him. Mm. But right back to uh, about about his love mm -hmm. um, and the and the power. I think that's a, a really interesting thing, and a question I've I've gotten, oh how many times in my right. life is um, now people hear about the love of God and they and they want it they start feeling it and experiencing mm -hmm. it and they they usually come to this question, is there's someone in our life mm -hmm. that uh, that misbehaves very well right. Mm -hmm. Um, they, it's like, how can I handle this guy or this lady? Because they keep on being a certain way. They they're not repenting. They're not changing their ways. Mm -hmm. How do I handle this person? So you know, and because we're all want to love, we want to be radical. We want to go out there and do it. Mm -hmm. 
and there's this one hard-headed person that you get to do with yeah, all the time. It's true. And here's the thing: this is what God shared to my heart, and I hope it's of some help. Mm. But um, one thing God showed me is the the fact. And Jesus says this too. He said, "Listen, if you love me, mm -hmm. you will do my commandments." It's true. So there, there's a there's an actual thing that you can do to prove your love to God. Mm -hmm. He wow. says, "If you love me, you'll do them." Mm -hmm. So then, if you do them, you love him. Mm -hmm. And that may seem legalistic, but mm -hmm. I I just shared the, the the commandments earlier, so they're not hard. Mm -hmm. It's believing and loving with a love that's not yours. Mm -hmm. You. Take the love you get from God and you dish it out. Mm. So it's actually not got to do anything with you. Mm -hmm. It's got to do with Him. Mm -hmm. So you, I love you not because of me, because mm -hmm. of Him. Mm -hmm. That's why I love. Mm -hmm. See, and that makes it different. Because see, then I don't have to take, maybe if you misbehave, mm -hmm. I don't have to take the, the attitude that I experience. Mm -hmm. I don't have to take it personal. Mm -hmm. Because it's not about me. Mm -hmm. The love I give, and this is where it's important, and I mm -hmm. think it's so good what you say. Mm -hmm. Is that a life you have to live at your work, mm -hmm. at your at, in the taxi, mm -hmm. in your car, with your mm -hmm. kids, with your, you know? Mm -hmm. That same, being the same, is, is also kind of giving that love mm -hmm. everywhere you go. So mm -hmm. it's, it never gets that personal and that may seem weird to us because, see, we grew up different, man. Mm -hmm. We grew up at a place where everything is personal. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you wear the same jersey that I do is personal. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We, sure. we, the, the, the kid that, has, that wants to take your toy is personal. Mm -hmm. the, everything in our life, and I don't know, I'm making silly examples, but mm -hmm. it, everything as we grow up, mm -hmm. we grow up having not kingdom ideas. Mm -hmm. So his love is there so we can change our mind. Mm -hmm. it's, it's also, yes, a renewing of mind is, mm -hmm. is grasping, getting to understand what his love is like. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's in a, from a place of power because see, where, when you want to love others from your own source of love, mm -hmm. it gets depleted. Like I said, like with this example, with this question, as if someone really misbehaves at some stage, your love runs out. That guy, he his misbehavior doesn't wear out. Mm -hmm. He's been doing that his whole life. Mm -hmm. And you get worn out, you get angry, you, you lose it mm -hmm. or something. And this is the, the point I want to make is what God did when he gave us this love. Mm -hmm. When he poured it out and as Jesus prayed, said, that, that, let that same love be in them. Mm -hmm. God's love, man. Yeah. That's the love that he was talking about um, sending his son, mm -hmm. dying for us. Mm -hmm. That powerful love that he saved us with, mm -hmm. he put in our heart. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Now, if, if that is there, then as I am maturing in him, mm -hmm. my responsibility mm -hmm. to give that love becomes greater. Mm -hmm. Because see, my dependence becomes greater on him as I grow mm -hmm. because see now I need that love more mm -hmm. because I'm gonna give more mm -hmm. so as I mature I show more yep. it pours out more from my life wow. so the the responsibility gets put on me mm -hmm. but actually it starts from the day that I receive it mm -hmm. to love others we just don't necessarily know how to use it we don't know how to give it we thought we had to, you know, love them from our own source. Mm -hmm. Like we, we read the commandments, as you love yourself. Mm -hmm. See, there's days you don't like yourself so much sometimes. Mm -hmm. and that, But that's not how God sees you. No, that's not. You, you, you see yourself through some other lens or some kind of fleshly idea of mm -hmm. what you should be. Mm -hmm. in, in a religious sense, you know. Mm -hmm. And you, you just see your shortcomings. Mm -hmm. But God sees your potential mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit in you to wow. be perfected. Wow. So that's the thing is I take the love and I start being responsible and I grow in it and it becomes greater. Wow. But now here's the thing. Here's the answer to the, to the question. I explained it a little bit just to make the answer make 
says, all right? So if if there's a person like that in your life and you're struggling to, to love them, mm -hmm. here's the thing. What do you think God expects of that person? God expects the same thing he does of you. Mm -hmm. So the greatest thing you can do is in some form or another, make them responsible mm -hmm. for the love they need to show, for the, the things they should be doing. Mm -hmm. And you call that, 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 you call that out in them. Mm -hmm. True. So like you said, you see the solution. Mm -hmm. See, you with love, not condescending, not condemning, mm -hmm. you call out who they are mm -hmm. according to God. Mm -hmm. And you call that out, bring that out of them. And in fact, sometimes, you know, people, you won't be able to necessarily see that mm -hmm. with uh, a plain, uh, just being with someone. Sometimes people are lost. Yeah. And then you need to uh, put something in there. Like calling things, like, like it says in the word, God calls things that be not as if they were. Mm -hmm. Now God calls through you and you put something in there mm -hmm. and they never knew it was there. Mm -hmm. So there's, uh, in the kingdom, there's a lot of planting seeds mm -hmm. and other people will water yeah. and it'll grow. Yeah. So you do that. So that's what you do. You make them responsible. See, you don't have to sit there and just receive mm -hmm. punishment. Because yeah. you're trying to love. Mm -hmm. You you go and you love them by making them responsible and mm -hmm. say, Okay, you got this. You're powerful enough. Mm -hmm. You're peaceful. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever the thing is. Call out the opposite of, of the actual problem they have. You're not addicted. Wow. You are who God says you are. Yes. And you keep on with that. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. see, and the thing is, is you don't, this is, and that's loving them. Mm -hmm. You don't wait till they're behaving right mm. in order to love them. Mm. See, this love, it's going to give someone in the flesh a hard time. Mm. Because their flesh is fighting mm. what, you, what, what you carry. Mm. That's why there's probably friction in the first place. Mm. So you call out that and bolt them up. Mm. See, that makes a difference. Mm. You don't have to take punishment and say it's love. Yeah. That's not it. Yeah. But you humble yourself mm. in a place of power. Because that's the only way, that's the only real humility mm. you get. The the when when people are just at a place where they just receive punishment, mm. they're not in a place of humility. Mm. They're in a place of being timid. Mm. They're stuck there. They can't get up. Mm. Humility is only because of actual power laying itself down mm -hmm. for the others, for yeah. others to be picked up. Yeah, can, can, may, may I please jump there? Yeah, and, go for it. Uh, I, I remember in the scripture, um, uh, the Pharisees, the Pharisees used to preach every time in the, throughout the scripture. They taught in the synagogues, they taught wherever they were. But the, what the Pharisees were doing, I'm still going with the maturity and the immaturity thing in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so what, what was happening is they were preaching, the Pharisees were preaching what they did not understand. Mm. They, they were preaching the Old Testament. They were preaching, they, they were preaching something they were not living. Mm. So if you, the, the yes. problem that we are having in this, uh, in this generation is we have so many people that are saying, I love you. Mm. But we have so many people who are showing that they really love. So, so, so the, the Pharisees yeah. were preaching what they did not understand. So when Jesus comes into the scene, when Jesus says the kingdom of God is here, when Jesus is birthed on earth, when God expresses himself on earth, he comes at love. Mm. See, immaturity always speaks, mm. but it never does. Yes. It, yes. Immaturity speaks and does the opposite of what it's speaking. But maturity mm. does not speak a lot. Mm. The maturity actually shows how things are supposed to be done. Mm. So Jesus, yes. when Jesus steps into the sin, he's showing people how it's supposed to be done. He's fully, he yeah. says, I have not come to abolish the law 
or know the prophets, but I've come to fulfill. Mm -hmm. I've come to show you how you're supposed to live this kind of life. Yes. What I have taught back then, I know you cannot do it. I, I, I know. That, 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 that much I know. You, you're speaking about it a lot. But let me show you how it's done. He, he, he comes into the scene. Watch how Jesus was operating. This woman was caught in adultery. She was caught right-handed. You, she, she, you know, she was caught right there and there. They, come, they, they came to Jesus running and holding these bricks and stones, these blocks, and they wanted to throw these blocks at this woman. And they asked Jesus, what should we do with this woman? The Bible, the, the Old Testament still tells us if we catch anything in this, anyone in this posi position, we have to stone them to death. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says to them, no, 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 you don't understand it. You don't understand it. Immaturity is, 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 is quick to persecute not looking at their own things that they have done. Immaturity, you know, points to the sins of others. Immaturity points fingers at others, but it doesn't look at the four fingers that are pointing back at them. So Jesus says, if you have not seen, that's what love does. Love, love recognizes sin. What love does is it's, it, it always wants to protect it always wants to have a solution it always wants to cover up for so love always you know it saves someone love protects someone from something that is ugly so 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 th that's the maturity of love that's the power of love the, the reason why we are not making impact as a body of Christ in these days is when we are evangelizing the word we are persecuting the people that we are preaching to. We are not actually showing them the way that Jesus loves you. The kingdom of God is a kingdom of peace, is a kingdom of joy, is a kingdom of love, it's a kingdom of unity. It's a kingdom where God wants us to be a family. We, 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 we are preaching in the streets and we are telling them, oh, you have sinned and you are not going to heaven. That's not going to help. When, when, when we introduce them to the love, to the relationship, Jesus comes. Um, I was sharing this with you yesterday when God spoke to me about the church. God marries the church in the, in the, faith, in the, in the Pentateuch. He, 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 he marries the church. Then he divorces the church in the book of Jeremiah. Then Jesus comes in the New Testament as grace. He's marrying again the church. But now when he's marrying the church again, he's actually showing them how the relationships is supposed to be. Wow. He's showing them the love. How to love. You love by sacrificing. Even if the someone, even if you're sacrificing for someone who seemed not to understand what you're sacrificing for, oh, yeah, he, he, yeah. He, he, he loved us before we loved him. Mm. If if mm. Jesus had waited for, for 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 us to know him and then love him, then mm. then we I I don't think we would be at this position right now of knowing mm. him. So he says, I'm going to love you in your condition. Yeah. So love, mature loves, loves irregardless of. We, we, uh, see, we see that you are a prostitute, but we choose to love you. We show you love like that. We choose to show you the way. We choose, we see that you are a thief, but we choose to love you like that and show you that this is the way that you should go. This is, that's how we love you. We don't love you by being resentful, by rejecting you. We put you and we introduce you to a relationship mm -hmm. that is more powerful, that looks as weakness, but it's powerful. Yeah. Because it's love that is displayed on the cross. Mm. He, he, he says, Father, forgive them. That's what mm. love. Mm. Even if at his weakest hour, he, he says, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. That's what love does. Even you are in a position, yeah. even if people put you in a position of where they're persecuting you, they're throwing, you choose to love them because they do not know. Mm. That you are not at your weakest point. But you are at the powerful point. At your, you are so powerful. You are at the place that you are supposed to be at that particular time. So love chooses. It chooses to love. Yes. 
It chooses to obey. It chooses to walk in truth. It chooses to do what is right. It chooses. It chooses to redeem. It yeah. chooses to yes. call people to repentance. Love chooses what is right. Mm. So I, I, I think okay. I, I think the, the love that God is calling us to in this in this season and in this generation is to, to show people and call them, you know, not just speak it, but do it. No, 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 not just speak it, but do it. You, you know, as, mm. as you are preaching it on a, uh, dear pastor, as you are preaching it on a, on a pulpit, mm. I encourage you to do it as well, to show people how it's done. Your life preaches better than your words. You, yes. How you live your life, it preaches better than what you are saying. That's what the Pharisees, the Pharisees could preach. They had the whole uh, uh, laws and the prophets in their minds. They were rabbis. Yeah. They, they knew it, but they could not do it. Your life, people were not repenting. Mm -hmm. People became, became hardened, hard, hardened, because what, what the Pharisees were preaching was not what they were doing. Mm -hmm. That's why the world is not... Uh, that's why the world is not receiving... It looks like the world is not receiving the gospel because people are preaching what they are not doing. If we mm -hmm. get to the doing part... And then we say, we do, we say, we do, we say, we say, we do. If, if the coordination is there, we will see more souls coming into the kingdom of God. Yes. We'll see more people running. You'll see your family getting healed. You'll see even people in your company starting to comply with what you're saying because you are doing what you are saying. You're not just commanding people to do what you're not saying, what, what you're not doing. Yes. To know him. Yeah. To love is to know him and to worship him. Yeah. To live a, a, a life of love. Yeah. God is love, but love is not God. Mm. If you ever claim to be of God, you walk in love. Yeah. Amen. That's why how we see. That's the first fruit that we see on you. That you are walking in love. We 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 see the fruit of love. We See how you speak to people, how you do, um, how you, um, how you, you, you relate with people. Mm. You, you know, how you relate with people in high places, how you relate with people that are in poverty, that do not have anything. Because we also have people that have a tendency of uh, seeming to love people that have and not loving those who do not have. Yeah. So the first food that we do have is you have to be able, like what Pastor Carlos said, you have to be able to love your neighbor as you love yourself. You have to be able to feel for your neighbor. I mean, your prayer every morning has to be, Father, teach me how to love my neighbor. Mm -hmm. Teach me how to love. How do I love in this day? How do you want me to love the next person that is coming, the relationship that you just introduced in my life? How do you want me to conduct that relationship? How am I supposed to reveal you in that kind of relationship and not yeah. be able to wound people when they when God introduces you to new relationship in your life? Mm. So that's all I have to say for you folks. Yeah. You have to walk in love. Don't just say, reveal, do it, walk in it. Walk in what you're saying. Yeah, that, that's so important, you know, just displaying it. That's mm -hmm. that's one of the things, except for us having an example to mm -hmm. look at when we look at Jesus. Mm -hmm. He didn't just, you know, uh, live a good example. Mm -hmm. He showed us to be an example. Mm -hmm. yeah, right? So that that's one of the big things mm -hmm. is be the 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 word to mm. someone you know uh, as that famous saying goes is not everyone is reading bible they're reading you you know mm. some to some people you will be their bible mm. so see how you represent but have your trust in jesus while you're doing it yeah don't have your trust in your great performance your mm. great uh way of of words or mm. in, you know in in some form of self-confidence mm. have it in what, what I like to call confidence, you know, mm. have it in that, yeah. that that you trust what he's doing through mm. you and to them. Mm. And um, so I also want to, maybe we can finish off just because we don't mm. want to try to be too long, but mm. one of the most famous uh, chapters is 1 Corinthians 13, 
wow. uh, which is on love. It says, love suffers long wow. and is kind. Wow. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Whoa. It is not puffed up. Whoa. Does not behave rudely. No, that's does not right seek its own. Mm. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Wow. Wow. Um, does not rejoice in iniquity, mm. but rejoices in the truth. Mm. Bears all things, mm. believes all things, wow. hopes all things, mm. endures all things. Wow. And love never fails. Mm. Right. So that's uh, just a part on on mm. love. But you know what? Is you're not. Uh, that, that that's why I'm sharing this today, and while we're chatting about it, mm. is. Love is not just about mm -hmm. enduring. Mm -hmm. It's about love itself mm -hmm. toward people. It's it's about the greater purpose. Like it says, it hopes all things. What is it hoping? Mm -hmm. It is hoping in the truth. It rejoices in the truth. Wow. So the truth, what is the truth about you? Mm -hmm. It's what God calls. Mm -hmm. It's what God saw worthy while he was hanging mm -hmm. on that cross. Wow. And he saw you were worth it. Mm. So it's about that. So if you see that worth mm. living in you, wow! And guess what? He saw you were worthy where, while you were still sinners. Wow! So it's not that you you're such a good Christian right now, mm -hmm. and you've been doing your Bible reading, mm -hmm. and going to church on Sundays. Wow! Um, it's not that. It's something way greater mm -hmm. that he saw in us. Mm. And in those that even mocked him, mm -hmm. and what which I believe is why he said, Father, forgive them. Mm -hmm. They don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And because at the same time, mm -hmm. he's saying, because that, that's just how I see that, mm -hmm. is God, their potential is greater. Mm -hmm. They're not living it now. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're not ignoring the sin mm -hmm. that's there. Mm -hmm. That's why he says, he doesn't say, oh, they're just beautiful kids. Wow. They're just, I love their behavior. He doesn't say that. He says, forgive them. Wow. They don't know mm -hmm. what, what they're, they're doing. Wow. So see, that's the thing. Is, is I'm seeing something greater wow. than what they're showing me right wow. now. Wow. Right? Wow. So that's the point. Mm. And uh, that's why love is actually, you know, like we, we, we as well, most of us like these movies with the superheroes and wow. things. And we, we see what type of powers they have. Yeah. And love is the greatest power God yeah. gave us. Wow. Because see, his very power mm. he put inside of us. Wow. It's and it's love. Mm. So because see, love will make you not hurt because of people. Mm. It'll break your heart hurt for them. Wow. Not and not be a in a place of being a victim, mm. but it'll put you in a place of being a victorious person. Wow. Because see, he said he made us victorious. He wow. made us more than conquerors. How wow. are we if we cannot be in his love wow. and actually receive it wow. and say it's mine? Wow. Wow. How can we not do that? All right. So you guys got any prayers, uh, prayers, prayer requests or anything that we just like to uh Pray for it. Just throw a comment there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just give a few seconds uh, if there is anyone. As not too many people online on a Sunday mm -hmm. morning. They're all in church, which is a good sign. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, well, before yeah. before we just before we just close, uh, there's something just, just came into my, just set into my spirit. Where, where you were sharing the face uh, in First Corinthians, I think it's in the book of First Corinthians again, mm -hmm. where God says that if you prophesy, if you preach, if yeah. you and you you and love is not part of it, then you are just as noisy as a noisy gong. Yeah. So 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 yeah. so so, so I, I met one of these preachers uh, in my first early uh, days being of being saved, and and that preacher said to 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 he was preaching. And he said something that changed my life. He says, the kingdom of God is a love revolution. Wow. So, so, so the kingdom of God is all, is all about love. And, and Paul says, and Paul said that I am not ashamed to preach the message of, of Christ. Yeah. For it is the power of God. Which is, what, what is the message of Christ? Yeah. It's the message of love. It's the, I am not ashamed because it is the power. That's why we're sharing this to you today. Because the message of the cross is the power of God. 
the message of the cross will make you will make you have impact wherever you're going, wherever you're living, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Mm. God will bless you because of this message. Yes, Amen. of the cross. <laughs> Amen. All right. And so yeah, yeah, you good. Yeah, I am. All right. I am. Okay. All right, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna pray for you guys. If you got any prayer requests while well, this is still on, go for it. I'm just gonna pray, and um, yeah, if you want to pray something specific mm -hmm. that you feel for anyone mm -hmm. maybe watching this, then you, you also go for it. Mm -hmm. Right, thank you, Father, Ooh. Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that you're good. Your kindness and goodness mm -hmm. is just shown to your people, Father. Thank you that you just showed up in a tangible way in their life today. Wow. Jesus, and thank you, Lord, for things to synchronize, uh, just to, sh to show them that God is speaking and God is there. Oh. Jesus, and thank you for tangible presence in their in their place in their room in their car wherever they are father thank sweet, you sweet and jesus name father thank you i speak to bodies mm -hmm. that need healing thank mm -hmm. you lord for things to shift Ooh. to move and to be healed even now in jesus name. wow thank Shabbat. you father for peace mm -hmm. just to flow over bodies and over hearts anxiety to leave in jesus mm -hmm. name thank you father for speaking to their heart and just showing them your love and your mm. covering and your warm embrace mm. that is there that uh, it's like a father hugging their child mm. jesus name thank you father just for healing mm. now thank you lord mm. all pain in their bodies to go now in mm. jesus name thank you father thank mm. you for show showing them what being a son and what being a daughter of god looks like every day Jesus name thank you father mm. thank you Lord mm. father God I pray father for my brothers and sisters that are watching right now in the name of Jesus father God I prophesy to for to every dry bone in the name of Jesus that the dry bones are going to leave father God the businesses father that were come that uh, that were dead are coming to life father in the name of Jesus father I pray that you bless them father I speak breath Father, in every dry bone, in the name of Jesus, I call, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, oh, Father, to rest upon yes. their shoulders, in the name of Jesus. I pray for the spirit of wisdom, for the spirit of knowledge, for the spirit of power, the spirit of counsel, to rest upon the spirit of understanding, to rest upon their shoulders, in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, in the name of Jesus, even as I'm praying right now, I pray for many to receive the fire to receive the power to receive oh father god in the name of jesus the urge father to go and preach your word to go and do your word in the name of jesus i pray father god that they receive the boldness to do your word in their workplaces in the marketplace in their families in the name of jesus father god i pray father that you use them father to have the love that heals in their families father god in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, Father, I pray that you touch them right now. I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for the sick to be healed. I pray in Jesus' name. I prophesy for every crooked place to be made straight, for every high place to be made low. I destroy every stronghold in the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ. Father God, I release it right now. Father God, I pray that you set course of destiny in in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for my sister that is watching right now, for my brother that is watching right now. Father God, in Jesus' name, that you make way where the sin to be no way. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as you did did with Moses and the children of Israel. Father God, I pray that you separate the seas that they are facing right now in Jesus' name. Father God, you are able to do far exceedingly and abundantly. I pray, Father, that let it be so in their life. Father God, I pray that you feed every need. Your name is Jehovah El Shaddai. You are the many-breasted God. Feed, O oh Father. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray right now in Jesus' name. Father 
Father God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your love. In the name of Jesus, for your love and kindness, your mercy, for the God, for the causes, for the protest to repentance in Jesus' name. Father God, I pray, Father God, in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. In the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ that is, this is your season. This is your season of coming up. This is your season of arising and shining. This is your season. God is going to bring king, king kings to your uprise. I prophesy in the name and the blood of Jesus that the anointing of the Lord is breaking yokes right now. The anointing of the Lord is sweeping all over the, your house in Jesus. I prophesy in the name and the blood of Jesus. May God change the, your life in Jesus' name. I thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. May God bless you guys. Bless you guys and uh, thanks for watching. If uh, you got any testimony or you enjoyed it, mm. uh, comment and uh, we'll uh, chat with you afterwards as well. Um, yeah, do share this video as well. Share it to someone who will be blessed by it. Mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, receiving God's love and so on and it'll be, it'll be great so bless you, have a good Sunday and um, yeah, from me and Pastor Goodsai <sighs> what? peace guys cheers eh? cool. uh -huh.